I wanted to also ask you, because I think it's important to give examples with regard to magic and with regard to manifestation. Can you talk a little bit about something that happened, an evidence of manifestation that happened for you where you employed a technique or you used a tool and bam, it worked and you got the result that you were looking for? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, this is a technique really, and um, a sort of a, a technique for, I was asking a question and then I asked for signs and uh, to actually know which way to move. You know what I mean? So I said, mm -hmm. is it in my highest good to do thing A? So I don't, I actually don't literally remember what it was. I mm -hmm. remember everything else about it. Cause obviously that was not the important part. The important part was me becoming empowered. Mm -hmm. And so this, I, I really got into the intention and it was kind of a bold move. And that's why I wanted some support in it because it was, it was something that was going to be a burst a manifestation, me making a decision to move into something. I was actually using nature to divine. Animals and nature in general are open vessels for divine. So they are willing components to show up as a divination, as a sign, because they are a aligned with the ecosystem because they are more, they are closer to the divinity. They are more natural than we are. That's the problem with humans is that we don't realize how natural we are. Spirituality is natural. It's the same thing. And so we are sending out a signal. They just show up in it. It's, we kind of think of it as like, you know, Oh, Archangel Michael picked up that bird and put it in front of me, but right. it's even more subtle, even more cohesive than that. Your signal beckoned them and it all aligned and you were also your signal aligned to them. So it's right. both, it's both uniting and empowering. So this one particular time I was using nature to divine and I really got into my intention and I journaled about it and I spent time with it and I loved on it and I blessed it. And then I said, and I would like to, essentially, I want to offer this to the field, but I really want to have confirmation that it is aligned. I, mean, I, was, I was honoring, it was just, I wanted to say, is this right for the entire field as well? Right. And so as I did this, I, I was guided to then go on a, run, a nature run, a, you know, a trail run. And right as I sat in my car, I, I heard, I, didn't, I felt like I did not select these. I heard dragonfly, butterfly, beetle. Dragonfly, butterfly, beetle. So those are going to be your validation. So, if, okay, got it. <laughs> uh, I just okay. heard it. And I was like, okay. And I actually, for a second, I felt that's greedy of me. I just made that up. That's too many. That's too many things to ask for and too specific, but I was encouraged. Just go on, just go, go on your, your run. Now I have to mind, I have to point out to you that well, actually it was butterfly, dragonfly, beetle. That was the order it came in. So butterflies are pretty common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I live basically in a desert. Dragonflies are water animals. So right. it would be really outrageous, quite frankly, for me to see in the middle of the summer, a dragonfly where I was running, but I did, I go on my trail and the very first leg butterfly comes and I'm like, well, that's awesome. You know, of course that's great. Running along, running along dragonfly. Now I'm crying, right? <laughs> because where the hell did this magical dragonfly come from? And then I'm running along and I'm getting to the last part of the last leg of my, um, of my trail. And I started to stop and I was looking and I was looking, 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 where's a beetle? Where's a beetle? And I heard spirit say to me, you don't have to search, just have your eyes open. And so I just kept running. And oh the next God, thing, I got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah. Again, it was softening my energy, softening my energy right. and, and teaching me how to work with will. Will is thought, but we want our will to be aligned with the all, the will of the all, rather than forcing our will, which means yes. that we are trying to move past and faster than it you will always be corrected by the field if you try to move faster than it. And that's kind of what I was doing, some strength, and I was pushing my will by trying to search. Looking um, for that beetle, right. Yeah, and I'm, I just kept, stay, kept staying in, in faith or whatever, and before I got to the end, big fat black beetle right in the middle of the trail. And I moved forward with it, and I'll just tell you that I moved forward with what I did, mm -hmm. and it ended up being something that unfolded my business, meeting you, just so many different things I can attribute to that moment. Um, it was about three years ago now. And so it was really powerful. The unfoldment happened really quickly too, because the decision that I made, even mm -hmm. though it was a strong one, was completely supported, completely easy, shifted so many things in my experience. So that's one story of using a technique really, but also the divination tool of nature herself. <laughs>